Oh, oh my god, guys. I feel like I've swallowed something so big because of my teeth. I'm freaking out one tooth. The restricted one. I'm really struggling to talk. <laughs> it was so painful. I'm like crying. I actually cried. Oh my god. She was just flowing. Like I couldn't hold it. And then, you know, I'm afraid of needles. So I just told syringe. Needles, syringe, whatever the case, call them. That's not my field. So I just told this guy, like, you know what? Just add, add more and more syringes because the pain was so unbearable. And then he took a break. Once I took a break, I was actually shivering because it was just too much. Too much. I felt like he was going to pierce the entire hole of my mouth. And then my jaws, they were so tired as well. So I was just consoling myself, you know. No, it's just a one-time thing. So let me just hold on, hold on. Okay, he's going to finish in a while. And I said, no, you know what? It's too much. Let's take a break. So we paused for like a few minutes. And then I was like, okay, come on board, doc. You know what? I got this. I'm strong. I'm a strong woman. Mm. Tears are just flowing. For now, I'm actually swallowing my blood. You mm -hmm. see? I feel like uh, uh, it's kind of cotton it's not cotton but you know those things that you normally know, use on red cross like tying your arms i don't know how they are called the palm bar i see palm bar, but something of that sort so i'm so sweaty i'm gonna put on the fan first because it wasn't an easy task my appointment was at 11 30 i got there on time there were two clients ahead of me so it was a bit challenging but I think I did it. <laughs> Plus, I have another one, so I'm just thinking how I'll be careful taking care of my teeth from today and so No taking sweets, no taking anything sweet like chocolate, the way I'm used to. So, oh, oh god, I really hate body complications. Now, see, I'm, I'm talking as if I'm having some cut in my mouth and yet it's just amazing i've been told to stay with this thing for like an hour so and then i take some amoxicillin i think i'm going to take that now because i've just rushed home because i just could i don't want to talk to anyone the saliva is just becoming too much in my mouth i don't know how to spit i've had to go to the supermarket and ask for their washroom something i've never done i just went and wrote in my phone my other phone like read this bro i'm not going to talk to you <laughs> Because once I talk, I'm going to spit all this saliva in my mouth to you. <laughs> and then you just direct it. You know, you thought maybe I was dumb. Dumb or numb. Or people who don't talk, how do they call them? Dumb. Yeah, dumb. Not the obvious one. Dumb. Dumb. Whatever the case. So yeah, that's it. Like for now, the saliva is really full. So guys, I can't talk anymore. Let me just summarize. This is just too much. Too much unbearable pain. Hmm. See my life now. We have to Netflix and chill because I can't talk to a lot of people because the saliva is becoming too much in my mouth. So, after a few minutes, I'm in the washroom. A few minutes, I'm in the washroom. How do we call the medicine that normally makes someone's someone numb? It's called what numb, numb, be silent, anesthetic, or what? Something of that. I've taken like around 10. He was just inserting, inserting to my gums. And then I felt kind of swollen. So that is when he asked me like, do you feel numb? Okay, yeah, I do. So let's do this. So now, let me just relax a bit or even sleep because every every time I'm, I'm just awake, saliva is, it fills my mouth. So let me first chill and then make my bed. I'm here to do some arrangements so that we see what next because it's too much pain. I'll take care of my teeth from today and forth. Wow.